Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today, we are going to be soaring high into the sky in order to examine our very first flying Zoan fruit, the Tori Tori no Mi Model Falcon. The Tori Tori no Mi Model Falcon is a Zoan type fruit that allows its user to transform into a falcon, as well as a falcon human hybrid. It was eaten by a Pell and first put on full display during the Alabaster arc. As for the etymology, the word Tori is quite simply the Japanese word for bird. We do, however, encounter a bit of an oddity when looking at one of the English translations of this devil fruit, as Viz and Four Kids decided to call it the Tweet Tweet fruit, with Four Kids opting not to add the falcon portion at all, while at least Viz added falcon type to the end of it. Now, as for why anybody in their right mind would would attempt to translate bird as tweet more than likely has to do with the fact that both the Paramecia and Logia class fruit names are generally based on some form of onomatopoeia. This does not generally apply to the Zoan class, however I can see why these companies may have wanted to continue the trend and have it apply to all devil fruits. The problem is that tweet is just such a bad word to choose because it's generally associated with smaller birds rather than a much larger predatory falcon. My personal feeling is that this was a decision made by four kids and Viz chose to follow it for continuity reasons, but thankfully this is rectified in the Funimation dub. We refer to it as the bird bird fruit model the falcon that's right the falcon and look it's not perfect but it's better but in terms of why one would want to become a falcon it's because they're actually pretty damn amazing the most immediate benefit is of course natural flight but in addition to that falcons happen to be the fastest birds in the entire avian kingdom with their average speed running anywhere from 65 to 90 kilometers an hour as well as a maximum speed of 110 kilometers an hour however that really is just the tip of the iceberg as the true potential of the falcon is only revealed in its diving speed, which can hit a maximum of 390 kilometers an hour, making it technically the fastest member of the entire animal kingdom. I should say that all of this is based on the peregrine falcon, which sits at the pinnacle of falcon kind, so these numbers may potentially drop, but not significantly enough for this fruit to not still be considered absolutely phenomenal. But speed certainly isn't the only benefit of a falcon, as the user of this fruit should also expect to receive an incredible boost in eyesight. Generally, falcon eyesight is up to eight times better than the sharpest of human eyes. In addition to that, falcons are able to process four kinds of light. This means that falcons have incredible night vision, as well as the ability to see ultraviolet rays, which means that in theory, the user of the Tori Tori no Mi model falcon would be able to easily avoid this type of radiation and thus prevent their body from becoming damaged through unknown prolonged exposure. And then there's the beak. Never underestimate beak. Unlike other birds such as hawks and eagles, falcons actually kill using their beaks, quite specifically by using a tooth on the side of them. With all of these factors combined, falcons are capable of taking down prey roughly six times their own body weight. So if I haven't convinced you by now just how awesome it would be to have the power to become a falcon, you may well be a lost cause. Especially considering the idea of the falcon human hybrid form that this devil fruit grants access to. This one is particularly interesting because the result grants the use of falcon wings as well as retaining human arms. Although they are covered in feathers and the hands become talons. This is pretty crazy though because at face value one seems to gain all of the benefits of becoming a falcon whilst keeping the versatility of human limbs. And to speak about that a little bit more we should really go into Pell's specific use of the Tori Tori no Mi model falcon. As the strongest fighter in Alabasta, Pell takes glorious advantage of the sheer speed granted by the fruit using it to swoop opponents and strike out at them with his favoured sword or even gatling guns. The use of which essentially turned him into a human fighter plane. Not that he even needs a weapon though because Pell can also take advantage of the falcon talons to attack. Pell also generally makes use of the fruit in the area of transport, in particular when delivering Monkey D. Luffy to the palace in Alubana to face off against Crocodile. However, more leisurely trips can be arranged, as Pell often took Princess Vivi for rides on his back when she was a child. But moving on, we should briefly discuss the potential awakening of the Tori Tori no Mi model falcon, and the immediate word that springs to my mind is terrifying. Given the established trend we have of awakened Zoans essentially becoming massive super-powered humanoid versions of their respective animals, I believe that this would result in the user becoming one of the most insane predators this world has ever seen with unimaginable speed as well as the devastating strength and durability to match it. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a falcon human. According to Pell, the Tori Tori no Mi model falcon is one of only five types of devil fruits ever discovered that grants the ability of flight. So let's count them now. We've got the Tori Tori no Mi, then there's Marco's fruit, the Fua Fua no Mi, the incredibly spoilerific fruit from Wano, the two bug Zoans, several Logias, and you know what, even Perona's devil fruit seems to allow her to fly. So in total, that's, that's exactly five, isn't it? Yeah, seems legit. 
Even though this has never been specifically mentioned, the Tori Tori no Mi model falcon is more than likely considered as belonging to the subclassification of carnivorous zoans. This is because falcons are indeed birds of prey, and so it's just worth noting that the user of this fruit may experience an increase in blood loss after consumption as most other carnivorous zoan users have. It's also worth noting that female falcons are much larger on average than their male counterparts. So if you're of the female persuasion, then the consumption of this fruit may yield that extra benefit. In closing, I think that this fruit is one of the most wildly underrated estimated in the entire series, probably as a result of the fact that Pell was easily defeated by Nico Robin, but really that's because she possesses the natural counter to both super speed and flight. The Tori Tori no Mi model falcon is, in my opinion, by far the greatest Zoan type to appear in the encyclopedia thus far, and one of the greatest Zoan type fruits in general. It might not stand up to certain mythical Zoans, but flight is absolutely not to be underestimated as a core ability, and the extra powers granted by a falcon are simply insane. And with that, we are going to commit the Tori Tori no Mi model falcon to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we'll be landing back to the safe realm of the ground in order to examine the ever adorable Inu Inu no Mi model Dachshund. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line View Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also, I've recently launched a Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Tori Tori no Mi Model Falcon. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.